Hi guys! It's been a while because of a renovation on our house. Apologies for that. This time I'm making a teapot cozy, especially for Sarah. Thanks for the input. If you also like the cover, join the fun and make one too. It's a very easy pattern, it's just a two row repeat. What do we need? We need a teapot. This is about a four cup teapot. A ball of yarn. You can pick any yarn you like. I don't know which brand this is. I had it in my stash. It is a self-striping yarn. But you can choose any yarn you like. Just pick the hook size recommended by the yarn and then pick the smallest size. I have a three and a half millimeter crochet hook that I'm going to use. Let's begin. First, measure from handle to spout along the widest part of the teapot. Then make a chain in multiples of six until the length you measured. So you need a chain in multiples of six that covers this area from handle to spout. Okay. I have my chain here. And when you did that, I made 36. That's enough to cover my pot. So chain in multiples of six. And when you have the length you need, you need to make three more. So one, two, three. And then in the third chain from the beginning, you make two double crochet. The loop on your hook doesn't count as a stitch, so this is one, two, and in the third, you make two double crochet. So yarn over, and I like to use the back bump of the stitch, so when you turn it over, you see a little bump on the back, but you can use the stitch as well. That's totally up to you. So yarn over, insert in the third chain from the beginning, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. Yarn over, insert in the same stitch, and make another double crochet. Like Then skip two, one, two, and single crochet in the next. So insert in the next stitch, in the third stitch, after the double crochets, and make a single crochet. Then skip two, one, two, and in the next you make five double crochet. So yarn over, and in the stitch, five double crochet. One, another one, that's two, three, four, and five, all in the same stitch. And then skip two, one, two, and single crochet in the next. Skip two, one, two, and five double crochet in the next. And that is your repeat for the whole row. So five double crochet. Skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochet, skip two, single crochet. Repeat that until the end of the row. When you have three stitches left, then I'll meet you back and I'll show you how to end the row. I have three stitches left, one, two, three. In the last stitch, we make three double crochet. So skip two and make three double crochet in the last stitch. And after row one, your work should look like this. For row two, we chain one, turn our work, 
and single crochet in the first stitch. So in this first stitch, single crochet. Then we chain two, one, two, and we make a double crochet five together in the next five stitches. So yarn over. This was the first stitch. We made our single crochet in here. And the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Leave those two loops on your hook, yarn over again, and then we go to the next stitch. Insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on your hook, leave those three loops on your hook, Yarn over again, go to the next stitch, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on your hook, leave those four loops on your hook, yarn over again, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We now have five loops on our hook, so we need to do this one more time, yarn over, insert in the next, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two. We now have six loops on our hook, and we yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook all at once. We now made a double crochet five together. And then chain two, one, two, and single crochet in the next stitch. So this is the last stitch we worked in, so in the next stitch we make a single crochet. And then chain two and make a double crochet five together in the next five stitches. So yarn over, insert in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Two loops on your hook, leave those two loops on your hook, yarn over again. Insert in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and pull through two. Yarn over, insert in the next, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two. Five loops on your hook, we need one more, yarn over, insert in the next, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two. We now have six loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops, and it is easy when you make sure your the point of your hook is down, so you can easily pull through. And then chain two, and a single crochet in the next. Chain two and double crochet five together in the next five stitches. Then chain two, single crochet in the next, chain two, double crochet five together all the way to the end. And in the last stitch in the top of the chain three from the beginning chain three, we make a single crochet. So repeat this all the way to the end, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Okay, I finished my last double crochet five together. I make a chain two, and then in the top of the chain three, we make a single crochet to end the row like this. And then your work looks like this. For row three, we chain three to a three and turn your work. We make two double crochet in this first stitch. So yarn over, insert in the first stitch, double crochet, yarn over and make another double crochet in the same stitch. We skip the chain two spaces so we work only in the stitches. That is for the whole pattern. We made two double crochet in the first stitch, then we make a single crochet in the top of the double crochet five together. So 
here is the five together and here is the top you see all the loops here come coming together in this in this hole so this is the top of your double crochet five together and we make a single crochet in that oops in that stitch like this and then in this single crochet so skip the chain two spaces in the single crochet we make five double crochet so yarn over insert in the single crochet and make five double crochet two three four and five and then in the top of the double crochet five together we make a single crochet again and you see all the loops come together in this in this hole so this is the top of the double crochet five together so insert your hook there and make a single crochet yarn over skip the chain two space and in the single crochet we make five double crochet again so yarn over one two three four and five and then again in the double crochet five together in the stitch single crochet so this is your repeat for the whole row so make single crochet in the top of the double crochet five together and in the single crochets we make five double crochet repeat until the end and when you are at the end the last single crochet then i'll meet you back and show you how to end the row okay i made a single crochet in the last double crochet five together and now we end the row with three double crochet in the last stitch so in this last single crochet we make three double crochet like this and now it is pretty easy we work until we have a big rectangle and the rectangle fits let me let me show you fits around oh, around the teapot so this part touches the top on this side then so all the way along the bottom and along the back until this part hits this side as well again so you have a big rectangle that fits around your butt from front along the bottom to the back therefore you repeat rows two and three and work those rows until the rectangle is big enough to cover your whole teapot and then i'll meet you back you can make a variation of making it only in one color by adding one or two or three colors of your choice you see i made two rows in white in between and i would like to show you how to switch your yarn so you can choose to use two colors or three or four colors so we switch colors after row three so two and three is in one color and then again two and three in another color yarn over for the last i have two double crochet already in the last single crochet and i make one more so pull to two and if you want to change color then you don't yarn over and pull to the last two but you pick up your white or the color you want to use and then pull it through in that color so your next stitch is in the color you need for the next row 
then chain one and turn your work and then start your row two again then at the end work your way back in the same color and then at the last double crochet change color again or make four rows in the one color and then change color or make everything in one color or use three colors just be creative pick the colors you like and work it up just the way you want i make a couple of more of these stripes so work up your pattern and if it fits around your pot then i'll meet you back I finished this whole rectangle. I made two rows in white on this side and two rows in white on this side. You can choose whatever you like. If you want to make more rows or use different colors, that's totally up to you. So, to close it off, we cut our yarn and then yarn over, pull through and pull through, pull tight weave in this end and then you finished off your rectangle then we switch to the inside so the right side is flat on the table and then you need your teapot and line up your teapot exactly in the middle of the rectangle so like this and that your handle and your spout it's 90 degrees on the rectangle. It is really difficult to show you because it is a little bit too big to fit in the screen, but I hope you understand. So the sides facing the rectangle. So when you fold it to the middle, your handle sticks out on this side and the spout sticks out on the other side. Make sure you have exactly the middle, so also here and on the other side the middle and then it's time to close the side and therefore we I tilt my teapot so you can see you fold in this side and hold it with your thumb then fold in one side of the rectangle all the way to the top and then you pick this piece and fold it to the middle. Then pick the other side, fold it over the top and then pick this point. You get a point at the bottom, this point and fold it to the middle. I'm going to show you like this so this side is done it's closed then you get a yarn needle and some thread and then sew this together so this side is closed and then do the same thing on the other side so I try to show you so put this one in right under the spout and then fold <laughs> it's difficult to hold with one hand and then show you with my other hand so fold this part in right under the spout and then fold this point in and on the other side as well so you have also a little envelope at the bottom and then get your yarn and needle and close this side as well for making a couple of stitches and when you are done doing that then I'll meet you back and show you how we close the top when you finish both sides then it should look like this so you create it a little bottom for your teapot you can weave in the ends and then i have to weave in a couple of more ends but 
Okay. Then we can work our way to the top. So for the top, we need a string to close your teapot and then the lid sticks out a little bit to make the little cord to close the top put this aside and then let's make a cord I work for my cord with the both colors I used to make the teapot cozy but you can use one color as well that is totally up to you so I have two strings here and I use a four millimeter crochet hook just a little bit bigger than the three and a half I used for the cozy because I want the cord to be a little bit more full but you can also make a tighter cord than use the three and a half we start with a slip knot with both yarns on the hook like this and then we take one at the front and one at the back so one piece of yarn at fr on front and one on the back you yarn over the front yarn and then yarn over the back yarn and pull through the boat loops on your hook so do it again yarn over the front yarn so the white yarn in my case and then yarn over the multicolor yarn and put it through the boat loops on your hook I zoom in a bit to show you a little bit closer so split your yarns so the white is on the front and the multicolor is on the back yarn over with the white yarn so the yarn on at the front then hold the yarn and yarn over with the other yarn and pull through both loops on your hook so yarn over with the front yarn hold it and pull through both loops with the multicolor yarn yarn over with the front yarn and pull through with the multicolor yarn yarn over with the front yarn, so the white in my case, and pull through with the multicolor. And you see, when you do this, you get a really nice cord in two colors. So you can choose to make it all in one color, that is also an option and totally up to you. So, yarn over and pull through. So repeat this until your cord is three times the width of your rectangle. So, here is the width of your rectangle. Your cord should be three times this width. And if you think this is too difficult, then you can also just chain and then you uh, have a cord which is chained. So you can choose which way you prefer. So you can use this method or you can just chain a cord or you can braid it. That is of course also an option. So make a cord that is three times the width of your rectangle and then I'll meet you back. When the cord is the length you prefer or three times the width of the rectangle then you can cut the yarn, bind off, and then yarn over, pull through and pull tight like this and then you can make a knot at the bottom to extra secure and a knot at the other side and 
And then you can cut, you can cut the ends. We like to cut them not too short, so we have a little bit of a fringe at the end. So we can pull the pull apart the yarn. So we have a little fluffy end. And then we take our teapot and then we decide where we want the cord. I want it where when I close the top I can hold this knob. So that is about here. So for me that is one, two, three, four, five rows from the end. So when I see here, one, two, three, four, five rows from the end, and then when you pull your work apart, you see there are all little holes in the work. And we weave the cord through the holes from the back, back to front. And you can choose to uh, start in the middle, tie the cord here, so on the side of your pot, or you can choose to start at the front or the back, so you can tie the cord at the front or at the back. I start in the middle so, because I think it is fun that the cord can, the cord is tied at the side of the pot. So I start here. And then from back to front, to the next hole, front to back, to the next. Eyeball it a little bit where you want to place your cord so it is spread evenly. And then here the last. And then go to the other side. It's any work. And then exactly on the same spot, so five rows from the top, you go in and do the same thing. And then all the way across. Back to front, front to back, back to front. Front to back, repeat all the way across. Until you are at this side again. I still have to weave this in, then turn your work again, and on this side, same thing, until you are at the middle of this side again. Like this, and now you see you have a bag, so you can put in your teapot by folding it like this. Grab your teapot, put it in, and then make sure your spout goes under the cord. And then this side as well, and you can pull it up and take the cord over the handle as well. And then I take out the lid so I can show you how to tie it. And then you can pull it tight and strip it. 
and then your teapot cozy is done. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I would really like you to subscribe if you like what you see. Hope to see you next time. Bye. 